Hey Kong, what's up buddy? I'm the exterminator you called on such short notice. What seems to be the problem? I have a bit of an infestation going on. I keep hearing strange noises above me. I think it's bats or uh, birds or something up there. I was hoping you could take care of this little problem for me. Yeah, sure thing, Kong, my man. Let me just get my gear and then I'll take a look at your rock ceiling thing and see if I can find anything, dude. One hour later. Eek, 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 eek. So you're the little critter I've heard so much about. I can't believe something this small and this stupid could cause that much trouble, but I think I could take care of this situation very easily. What kind of messed up creature are you? Good gosh, you are one ugly mother- Man, I knew I should have called an exterminator that wasn't from a reality TV show. What's up fellow Godzilla nerds, my name is Godzilla Glenn, and today we're going to be learning how to build a Lego Hellhawk from Godzilla vs. Kong. So, Hellhawk was going to be uh, a bit of a difficult build to do just because, like, Hellhawks are a lot smaller than your normal uh, titans in the Godzilla, or in the MonsterVerse movies, uh, but I think I did a pretty good job with this build. It's not as size accurate as I wanted it to be, but it's still accurate to the film, and I really like it, so let's get into the build.
so for the Lego Hellhawks articulation, he has um, joints in his uh, knees. He has ball joints. Whoops, in his wings like that. His torso fell off, but he also does have. We can take him off the stand real quick. He also has a hinge in his jaw, so it can open up like so. And he can kind of go in multiple different positions if you want to have him crouched over. And his wings, they could actually go down so he could be walking on the ground, kind of like uh, this. Or you could put his wings out in a flying position, but either way looks pretty good. So for a quick comparison, here we have a Lego Hellhawk paired up with some other Hollow Earth creatures. So we have um, Kong, of course, with his battle axe, and then we also have Warbat, and even though um, the Hellhawk is supposed to be, Hellhawks are supposed to be uh, much smaller than this, closer to the size of a human, I think they still look very well together. Uh, I think they still look really good together, uh, just because the Hellhawk is still smaller than Kong and uh, the Lego Warbat, so I think... All of them together look pretty nice. For a more realistic size comparison, here we have our Lego Hellhawk with a standard sized minifigure, and I'd say they scale up pretty well. Hellhawks are a bit bigger than um, the normal sized humans, so I think this is a pretty good um, pair up, and it looks nice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We only have a few more Lego Godzilla vs. Kong builds to make before the end of the series. I know I still want to make um, Doug, the lizard, uh, that's in the Hollow Earth, and then there's also some of those Hollow Earth um, bugs or crabs or whatever they are that I want to make before the series ends, but so far we're doing really well. We have a lot of builds that you can build, <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!